Now this is the, the pattern I'm going to be tying. It's basically a, a midge pattern for fishing the locks uh, when there's an adult midge about. It's, it's best to, well you can fish it as in a cast if you wish, but it's, I prefer to fish it itself and target rising fish. Uh, I will fish both in the rivers, uh, especially fishing the river for hawthorn, but in the locks for adult midge it's, it's a great pattern. Now you can change it a wee bit, I mean you could use it as well, obviously black legs, brown legs on it, you could use brown deer hair at the front. The body, keep the body black. Black's a great colour. Uh, it works in a lot of flies, so I'll show you how to tie it. It's reasonably simple and it's a bit of fun and uh, I'm sure if you put two or three in your box you'll not go far wrong. Now the first thing we're going to do is actually form the body for our midge pattern. Now the foam I'm using is just a close cell foam. This is obviously black, 2mm wide, it's a sheet so you can then cut it. So basically what I do is I cut it out. Now that's about 3 by 2 uh, It's just a length. I use a long pair of scissors when I'm trimming it. Now the first thing I do is just put a point into the, the end. And then get a lighter. You've got to be careful when you're doing this. And just basically come over it with the flame. And then lightly press it in with your fingers. Just do that. And that gives you a nice sort of taper and seals the foam, it actually melts uh, the foam on the outside and makes it a wee bit more robust. Then what you do is cut a length and then straight down the centre of the foam to the point to about as close as you can go to about a mil away. So you've got an even cut close to that, straight down the centre to the point of the, the foam. Now, to form the body, what I'm using here, this is my HMH, it's a tube fly holder for holding pins and so on. So it's obviously, I'm going to hold it, this fine uh, needle here just to support the body when I form it. Now what you do is just simply put the pin into the centre of the foam, just as it comes out at the back. You'll see it just there, just at the end. And then what I do is get, in this case, this is black uni thread uh, in 8 oh. What I'm going to do is wax the thread, pull it in. Now keep a good length of waist piece because you, you've got, you need that, that's part of the, 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 the thread that's actually holding the body together. So what I do is then I just put the thread onto the needle and slide it down, keeping hold of the waist end. And then I come round a couple of turns and that's the first segment of the body, just there. And then what we do then come out, come in between both pieces of foam and onto the needle with a couple of turns but slightly further up. And then pull the foam in. Now what you can do is you can stretch the foam by pulling it to make it as thin as you like so you get a nice taper. You do the same again, come up a couple of turns, stretch it out and do the same again. Keep going. This protects the foam makes it last far longer. If you just used the foam itself, it would fall apart in no time. So there's your five segments in this case. Now a couple of turns there, and then what I'm going to do, make sure you wax the thread. When you whip finish, one, two, three. Now all this points as I'm winding up, I'm actually tying in the waist piece as well. So I've got the waist piece and the tying thread together, and I trim them, so they're both the same length. Because I'm going to tie this onto the actual body the, or onto the hook so that then is holding the, the body, the foam together. Uh, so if you tie that in, it's going to keep it uh, or keep it strong and robust. So what we do is just simply remove it from the needle. And there we are. You can pull the threads a wee bit just to tighten them up. But as you can see, it makes a great body. It's very strong. You can pull away at that. It'll last, for, it'll last a few fish. So, so then obviously I usually sit and do a dozen bodies or so uh, and then sit and tie the fly. Now we're ready to tie a fly. Now the hook I'm using, this is the full mill hook, it's called the Short Shank Special. Uh, it's basically, it's a size 14. Shank's equivalent to a 16 though the gape is equivalent to a size 14. It's one I would recommend. Now 
thread back to the uni thread in 8 First thing I do is run the wax through it. We start to the eye and we just come down till we're in line with the point of the hook. We don't want to get any further than that, so if you let the thread go, it should be in line with the point. Now we get our body, the one we formed earlier, there we are. We're just going to tie it on. Where we actually tied off is where we're going to tie it on. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just basically make sure you wax your thread so we've got plenty of grip. One, two, three turns there, just to make sure it's sitting. You can come underneath, then do another turn on top. And now as you see, I've tied in the waist ends, or the both the tying thread and the waist end, and obviously the foam. So what we do, we trim that away. Make sure this stays on top. We can then secure them in with thread turns. There we are. Now, I'm going to tie in some legs. These are pre knotted legs. These are pheasant tails, dyed black. You could use brown. I have a brown version there, which works really well. So what we're going to do is bring out enough legs, six legs. Now a small fly like this, you could go four. But I'm just going to stick to the six. Take them off. And the three either side of the body. And separate them. So come in. Now the legs help support the fly. You want them obviously slightly longer than the body. Tie them in. So we've got three either side. Come round with two or three turns. See how they're sitting. That's fine. Then trim this away. A wee bit of wax on my thread. Make sure there's plenty of grip. Now, what I'm going to do here, you don't have to do this, I uh, don't always do it, but you can put an indication of a, a wing, and I've got a, a bit of flat pearl, you could use crystal flash. So I'm going to put one either side, so a strand either side, you don't need any more than that. So I catch on the top, to basically fold it back, and trim. Just check where we are, just check they're okay. Just an indication, this is a good, as much as a midge pattern, it's a good hawthorn fly. It's ideal for hawthorn. When you're happy with the position, then what I like to do is I've got some, this is uh, diamond bright and black. Now, you could use seals for, it could be, it could be black, it could be red, it could be whatever colour you like. But I'm just putting a bit of the UV Diamond bright. Set it there. You don't need much. Slide it up. Let's just basically tie these things. Just stroking it back. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure it's waxed the thread. Got some dyed. This is dyed black. This is roe deer that I've dyed black. It's a uh, it's short, it suits the smaller flies. Now, basically what you're doing here is just forming a hack over the deer hair. And a head in this case. So we set this on top. Now, you could use natural deer hair as well. So if you want a ream brown, it's really good. So we want it shorter than the body, so just hold that. As I say, we've waxed our thread, just come over. Come down with a couple of turns, look loose. Slowly tighten up, then another one. Then the, the cut ends, which is pull them, bit at a time, and wind the thread through. Tightening as we go. Lift up, very last, give yourself room. Three or four turns. Put finish straight away, always keeping the thread tight. These are ideal for targeting fish. Use them in the, the rivers, in the, in the lochs. They'll still catch, they're fine. Just bringing out the cut ends. Now I'm going to cut this much like I would do a, an elk hair caddis. So we just lift them up, so you can see. Trying my fingers out the way, so. And trim away. And there, we, there we go. It's a very light dressing, ideal for midges, I say. 
especially early in the season, throughout the year, uh, it'll represent terrestrials. If you want, I mean, you can, as you see here, like, I've used brown legs, uh, you can use whatever you like. But it's a very, it's a simple fly to tie, it's a great fun. And to fish it, 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 you basically target along the edge of the, the bank. If you're fishing the lochs, obviously in the river, you're just targeting rising fish. Uh, and it works, it works extremely well. The wee bit of flash just gives an indication. If, you, if it catches the light, it's, it shows the wing a wee bit. It's quite hard to see in the, in the video, but it is there. Uh, you don't worry, overdo it. It's a very simple fly, and you want to keep it as light as you can. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And please subscribe, uh, it always helps, and thank you for watching.